Morning guys, um, just arrived at a local lake as you can see, in the background, um, fish here occasionally, not that often to be honest, but uh, here to do a review, as you can see there it is, it's a little survival fishing grenade, but uh, we're going to uh, open it up, see what's in it, uh, see what we can do with it, and just uh, Give it a review for a friend, a sharp and living. Anyway, this is it. So, as you can see, it comes with a, a whistle. Yeah, nice little carabiner hook. It's very tightly woven. That's what we're getting to. Comes with a little card, just stating exactly what it's got in it. I don't know if you can read that or not. I'll read it out to you anyway. So it comes with metal carabiner, tin foil, eye knife, cotton tinder, a fire starter, an alcohol pad, paracord, which obviously is wrapped up in, weights and swivels, fishing hooks, floats, fishing line, safety pins, and what looks like in the picture to be a scalpel blade. Right, I'm just going to put it down for a minute while I open it. Right guys, well, as you can see, it's actually doubly woven. Which I think is a really good idea. One, because you're getting the extra power cord. Two, because it's making it tougher. So, as you see, it's just all in the woven. Like so. Quite hard to do, so I'll bring you back in a second. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's all opened up. Tin foil is wrapped around these three, which unfortunately, trying to unwrap tin foil as you probably know that it's crossed up, so that's the ripping to say. Probably do being a tad bit bigger, so that's not really enough to uh, cook a fish on, but in a survival situation, you'd make it do. So, let's put these on there. So I can see where they are. Right, the paracord lengths doubled up. It's one hand to the other hand with my arm stretched out. So you got that twice. Pretty good, so probably, I don't know, maybe around 10 feet. Not far off. Um, yeah. Two little hooks in there. Let's say they're maybe a, a ten size wise. Looks like there's actually only two, but I think there might be a third in there as well, maybe. No, there isn't. Just two. I think I think you've got Two that attached to line, and then just an extra smaller line in there. And then open it up and uh, have a look, I think. See if I can get it open just. as well, quite nice and neat. Quite a, it's a bar pit, obviously. And then this one is only one hook. Okay. And then just some extra dice so you can get out that little bit extra further. So, that's the hooks. Yeah. I've actually been looking forward to seeing what this ring life is, so I've never actually used one before. Let's see if I can get this one open without cutting myself.
put it down for a second. First of all, stuff, there are two little safety pins in I'm not going to get them out because you know what safety pin is. Tiny little scalpel, number 10. So I'm taking it this. Oh, yeah, it's sharp. That is sharp. I'm not going to play with that. I'll really end up cutting myself. We we'll also get, enough, I think this is alcohol wipe. Yeah. Nice little alcohol pad. Just to uh, help keep things clean. Cut yourself. Now this little ring off, I'm really impressed. This, uh, it is very sharp. And it's got this lovely sharp, and it is sharp as well. Um, I've got quite chunky fingers, so probably not the best for somebody like me. But it allows me to put that extra pressure on it. Stuck it into my thumb. As you can see there, it's pretty good. I imagine that works inside with your um, scraper, as a scraper, so should I say, for your magnesium stick. Right, so cheat a bit there for this one, just because I didn't want to lose any of the bits. Um, basically, you get two of these overlets. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I never used to rate these as a sliding weight, um, but believe it or not, they actually work quite well depending on the type of fishing you're doing. For survival fishing, I would say they're all okay. Um, also, a nice tightly rolled and sealed. You need to tear the outer casing off to get to the cotton wool. So a tin of quick, whatever, just a roll of cotton, whatever you want to call it. Um, two semi-decent swivels. The locking ones actually, so they are pretty good ones. A bit small, but then I suppose depending, you don't want to be going too heavy really on a survival situation because you're scared of the little fish that you're more likely to catch. And then we come to the little pair that floats. Now these I actually really like. Um, obviously there's a few ways you can do these. Um, they've got a loop in one end of the wire and the other wire. So you can either fish them so they sit like that in the water on the top. And all you do is obviously you just put this longer end in through the hole, give it a couple of twists and then the line in through there as well. Or, if you're a bit like me, I want a bit more finesse, you can just put your line through this little hole and actually fold that down, quench it tight, twist it round together or whatever, so it actually, it's like a tip on a float, gives you a bit, a lot more sensitivity on smaller fish. They're lovely and bright coloured. Um, let's get it to focus. There you go. So, plenty of uh, wire on them. And then, very solid little magnesium stick as well. So, as I was saying before, some people came past. Um, basically, quite a nice, decent little size. And then with the ring knife, I'm sure. Oh, there we go. Doesn't once you start getting it scraped, it don't throw some bad sparks at all. That's all right. That's pretty good. I enjoy that. <laughs> so all in all, it's really not a bad little kit. Um, I can't for it. I couldn't tell you what pound line it is. It doesn't say, 
but I imagine in looking at it, I would say six, maybe eight pounds. I'd, I'd, I'd say more six. To be honest, a lot of these companies, they go out, they give you 10 pound line. Um, and to be honest with you, it's too thick. It's too heavy. It cools up. It ends up being no good. You end up not being able to use it. Whereas this, I would say, is, like I said before, in between sort of, <clears throat> get rid of that. I'd say it's around about six. I couldn't say for sure. But uh, I forget it's my finger now if it'll focus. There you go, it's probably as best you're gonna get. But yeah, it's uh it's really not that bad. And then obviously it makes a bit of a mess once you take it all out. But luckily you get this bag to put it back into to keep it all safe. Um, if you can't be bothered to uh, wrap it all back up. But to be honest, while I'm here with the kids, that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it back in this bag. Um, everything back into its individual bags, obviously. The only thing about this that I didn't like, um, I'm impressed with the whole lot. I'm quite happy with it. Um, the only thing that I am a bit disappointed with is the tin foil was wrapped around the outside. For this to be viable for me now, I would want that folded up neatly, not crunched up like that is. I would want dead flat, smooth finishes, neat folds, um, and I would want it in a bag before it gets wrapped up in between some of these items to stop it getting crunched up, to stop it from tearing when uh, you're trying to unfold it to wrap some fish up in it to cook them. Um, other than that, I'm very impressed with the kit itself. Um, I'm going to take it out with me next time I come down here, bring some bread with me and see how many fish I can catch. So, as I was saying, uh, individually packed everything back into its bags, probably not the right bag. I put the tin foil into this bag with the flat weights, the floats and the swivels, just because I think that's where it should have come in the first place. Um, as you can see, look, first aid, band aid, cleaning aid, whatever you want to call it. Tinder quick, the two blades are in there. Um, I was going to take a bit of tin foil out and just wrap the edges and blades because, as you can see, both of them put in there. I've put the, uh, the larger one over the top of the scalpel and I've had the scalpel facing inwards towards the Tinder quick just so it doesn't slice the bag open on the side. But obviously, the flat blade has got a sharp point on it as well. So how long that would last I don't know but hence why you get this very hard wearing solid plastic bag which I'm really like it's a good little bag oh yeah get in there you can see all fits in there really easy it's not a big issue to put that in any of my pockets either so Obviously this bag is big enough to um, to get all of this paracord, the carabiner and the whistle inside as well. So that's a brilliant idea for me. And then the card, not that you need it, but I think that's also an excellent aid. Tear, tear this up, not, don't cut it up, but tear it up so you get them fluffy edges when you're making a fire with the tinder quick. Um, and add this to that to make it burn longer so that when you're putting your sticks on top this they have more burn time so you get a I don't know if, if you'd call it a sufficient fire starting method or but this would aid definitely plastic coated on one side I know but that wouldn't last long that soon burn off once the fire gets going um, it's, other than that it's only card just with a plastic coating on one side so yeah there you go guys